Howdy folks. I often recommend that you use 3D physics even with 2D sprites. In this video, I'll show you how to set that up. I'm starting with an empty scene. First, let's create some scenery. We'll just use a few cubes. And we'll use an orthographic camera. Let's duplicate the cube. Provide a platform to jump on. Now let's find the basic character and drop him into the scene. Set his position. Make sure you set the Z position to zero. Because we're in 3D, the Z position will have an effect. Let's hit play and make sure it's working. Let's create a new game object and add the setup physics script. Just so we can change gravity quite easily. Now we have our basic game in place. Let's add a sprite. We create a sprite from the game menu and drop it onto the character. We set its position to zero. In basic character we will remove the mesh renderer. And in the sprite, we'll choose our sprite. I'm going to use the alien that's included with the kit. If we zoom in, we'll notice that the collider is no longer aligned with the alien. So let's select the character and choose firstly to edit the feet. We drag the feet down until they align with the character's feet. We do the same for the character's head. Unlike feet, head can be individually dragged because your character may not have a flat head. We can also move them in a little bit, which will better mark up how we want the character to work. I'm clicking the Align Head button, which is a new button. It makes it easier to align the head. Let's hit play and see what happens. We now have our sprite in the scene. The next step is to add animation. The best animator for sprites is the new component. Animation bridge. Let's add that to the sprite. Choose a character. So we're assigning our character to the my character variable. We don't have a 2GD character, so we can leave that empty. Let's add some handled states. Handled states are the states that the animator will respond to. For now, we'll just do the basics. Idle, walking, sliding, and jumping. We need to add an animator. And then assign an animation controller. In this case, I'll use the existing alien controller. We do not need to apply root motion. Now when we hit play, we'll see that our character is animated. We may notice that he's sliding around a little bit too much. So let's tweak some of these settings before we wrap up. I'd like him to walk a little bit faster 
I'd like him to accelerate quicker, but because he's so slippery, let's increase drag, which will stop him sliding around so much. I also noticed that he's playing the sliding animation even when he's moving at quite a speed. So what we can do is increase the maximum speed for idle. This means we'll play the idle animation even if we are moving just a tiny little bit. With those settings in place, let's hit play. You see our character responds a little better now. Thanks for watching.